last week you made it clear that you are preparing yourself to give us evidence to back these claims. And you did just that today. Four conditions or four demands that you are making today. Run us through them and how early the youth want these you know, demands met. The first is the immediate and unconditional resignation or dismissal of the dishonorable Attorney General mm -hmm. Godfrey Yabuadan. Mm -hmm. Because clearly, his conduct as can be heard on the tape we play today and the other pieces of evidence we adduce mm -hmm. show that he's unfit to occupy that high and hallowed office of Attorney General. Mm. Now, any person who goes about tempering witnesses, suborning witnesses, persuading witnesses, witnesses to lie or deceive a court of competent jurisdiction or to fabricate evidence and all that, is criminally minded and lacks the character, the integrity that an important office of Attorney General and Minister of Justice requires. Because that position is a very important position. You know that the prosecutorial powers of states under Article 88 of the Supreme Law of the mm -hmm. Land are all vested in one person, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice. He's very powerful. He has a lot of discretionary power. Mm -hmm. He can change your destiny in a split second. And therefore, we cannot allow a man who has proven to be bereft of integrity and honor, a man who does not subscribe and adhere to the ethics of the legal profession, mm -hmm the code of access of prosecutors to, ought to occupy such an important position. And so we are saying he should resign now or that the president should fire him. Number two, we've also demanded a full-blown, publicly televised parliamentary inquiry. Mm -hmm. You know that members of parliament have the power to censure any minister of state who violates the constitution or their oath of mm -hmm. office. Clearly, Dame has violated his oath of office and the 1992 constitution, he has engaged in crime, he has engaged in unprofessional conduct, mm -hmm. and we are saying that if the president refuses to remove him, this matter should be probed, not just this matter, but other allegations of judicial manipulations by this attorney general. Mm -hmm. Because if he can do this, who knows what he can do? The, the, the desperate lens he can go just to pervert the course of justice. Let's probe all of that and censure him. Parliament has that power. Number three, we are calling for the immediate commencement of disciplinary proceedings by the General Legal Council, the body that has supervision over lawyers in this country, mm -hmm. to hold Godfrey Dame liable. To, first of all, investigate that matter, give him a right to be heard, and to go into the issues. And if he is culpable, to impose the necessary sanctions on mm -hmm. him. Because Rule 13 is clear, a lawyer cannot or is not supposed to communicate to a represented party on the blind side of the lawyer or of the that counsel. represented party. Okay. You need, a, at all material times, the consent of the lawyer. Or the ideal situation is to communicate with the lawyer. Because the represented party is not a lawyer. That is a presumption. And so you, as a lawyer, can take advantage of him if you engage in any negotiations or discussions with him. And that is why our ethics as lawyers and join us to go through the lawyer. Once he's represented, mm. he, he didn't do that. He has engaged this accused person, Mr. Jackpa, on countless occasions. I, some I just, WhatsApp, some mm. in phone call conversations, mm -hmm. some in physical meetings, and today we demonstrated that to you. I, 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 I have some, some few questions. Uh, okay. but, but let so, me just end. Okay. Um, so there is a disciplinary proceedings because of the breach of Rule 13, Rule 14, Rule 54. And that you want the General Legal Council to take To investigate. Out. Then the motion of censorship by Parliament, which will lead to mm -hmm. a publicly televised probe, mm -hmm. his immediate resignation, okay, uh, 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 or dismissal. And mm -hmm. we have also demanded his arrest and prosecution mm -hmm. because he's heard on tape telling an accused person who doubles as a witness before a court of competent mm -hmm. jurisdiction to fabricate, forge, a medical excuse duty when he knew that that accused person was healthy he says go and forge it go and deceive a court so that i can get an opportunity to travel at this stage because you are a lawyer i mean you allow me if i play around words and say that yeah. because the attorney general has not come out to deny or accept that the voice is his we will play on the assumption that this is an allegation against the attorney general well you can call it an allegation but i won't call it an allegation in the sense that 
in court. You see, this matter is not something that just emerged in the media. Right. You know, the last week, mm -hmm. Thursday, the 23rd of May, um, Mr. Jack Pad, the third accused, was cross-examined mm -hmm. by lawyers for the first accused, Honorable Lato Fawcett, right? And in court, in court, the third accused boldly told the court that the Attorney General has been calling and meeting him at all hours, impressing on him to skew his testimony, answer questions in a way that implicates the first accused. And he has told him that he cannot do that in good conscience mm. because he knows that, that what the Attorney General wants him to do is untenable, it is false. We heard the word. So, do, so, do, so do, that do, evidence. We hear the word hold on, about. Hold on, hold on. Do you accept the deal? No, I don't know what deal the Attorney hold General hold on, hold on. was talking about. So, so, so that evidence mm -hmm. is not part of the record. Mm -hmm. And the Attorney General knows the rules of evidence, Section 6 is clear. Mm -hmm. if, he, if he thought that that evidence was scandalous, vexatious, whatever, the laws allow him to object. And the law say the rule says object timelessly. Mm -hmm. He did not object. Mm -hmm. And so that is part of the record. And so we. This being a public proceeding, we can rely on that record. And we have gone further to give you the further and better particulars. That is a hardcore evidence. So this is no longer an allegation. We have all the proof he can't dispute any. If he disputes, he will have to tell 10 lies to justify every one lie he tells because we have abundance of evidence. What we have released today is just the tip of the iceberg. Mm. Now you were asking me. I was asking because I, I didn't, him I didn't hear, hear him that. clear say, uh -huh. okay, so I force him to mention the other name. What I heard him say was that I mean, just accept the deal. Yeah. I don't know which deal he was talking okay, about. So, and no, who in reference so says, this deal reflects so, so he says on the tape that if you accept... The deal. No, if you accept this increase, no difficulty for you. If you accept the deal, at another place he said, if you accept the deal, mm -hmm. then at a certain point when he was impressing on the Ted Aki, the Ted Aki said, you mean you, the way you want me to answer the questions mm -hmm. or go about it? He said, you, let, let's take it like that, mm -hmm. the way I want you to go about it. Mm -hmm. Then you see them referring to his position, the deal, accept this, right? Now, if you listen to the full conversation, you get a contest. The contest is what Jack Pass says. That what you, if the reason, his difficulty in accepting the deal, the deal which is to is testify and answer questions in the way the Attorney General wants him to do, is that it will help the, the states mm -hmm. secure the conviction of an innocent man. And that his conscience cannot allow him to do that. This is Japa. Knows, yes, because the they know, general. yes, because he knows the man is innocent. Mm -hmm. And the attorney general continues. The attorney general said, no, I'm not talking about the first accused. Exactly. So, of course, he knows that he's... Because, you see, as we speak, there are only two accused persons. Mm -hmm. Jack Pa or Atto Fawson. So, if... Uh, 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 Jack Pa and Atto Fawson. First accused and third accused. The second accused, former chief director of the Ministry of Health, has been... You know, acquitted, right? Not discharged. Mm -hmm. No, the state, I think, entered nolly prosecuted mm -hmm. and is continuing the case against him. So the point here is that if he was engaged in that conversation with Jack Pa on the 9th of April, when there were only two accused persons, who were they discussing? Assumption. It's not assumption. It's not assumption because they are talking about letters of credit, and he wants him to testify in a certain way about those letters of credit. And the guy is educating the age that your understanding of the effect of this letter of credit is wrong. And that those who did this letter of credit did no, nothing wrong. Because the letter of credit is only security. Mm -hmm. It is not payment. It has condition precedence. It is only if, when the condition precedence are fulfilled that the se seller can activate for payment. Right. The AG, this is trite. Everybody knows this. Yet the AG was still you know, insisting that he accepts his position, which the accused person says, I know this to be false, I can't accept it. Mm -hmm. who, who wrote the letter for those letters of credit to be um, established? It's out of force. Right. So if you wanted him to give false testimony that he himself knew to be false about the letters of credit, who was he trying to implicate out of force? Mm -hmm. So it, it is not assumption at all. Right, so, so you, 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 again, I come back to you because you are a lawyer. So how do you situate this conversation between the AG and Japa? Knowing very well that there had been an attempt for a plea bargaining, yeah. which from, the, from what the, general, the, the chairman of the party said, this conversation took place in April 2024, Is months it? or years before the plea bargaining had been on the table. Exactly. So the, the, the Japan so himself that, wanted... That, so what that shows so, you, what that shows you is that 
the AG has been lying to the public all along, and that is why he cannot be trusted. But there are evidence. You recall when we went to the hold, fact hold that on, letters, no, letters no, no, had no, been no, written way, hold asking on. for the plea bargain. Hold on, I'll come to plea bargain. First of all, when this matter broke in court, mm -hmm. the AG issued a statement at paragraph two of that statement on the 3rd of 23rd of May on last week Thursday. They stated that the states and the AG have never met any of the accused persons. Right. Neither have they sought their cooperation in any way. Those were the operative mm -hmm. words in the press statement. Now we've shown you the evidence that they've met. The cooperation, everything was there. You've seen the evidence. Mm -hmm. Then they come back and tell another lie contradicting the first lie. That, oh, it was a Supreme Court judge. This is according to the spokesperson of the AG. Mm -hmm. Who invited the AG to his house. And we heard a name and, in the recording. And unknown to this, the, the, the AG, Jackpa walked in. Today we've shown you a WhatsApp conversation between Mr. Jackpa and Godfrey Dame, dated 16th February 2022. Mr. Jackpa was first arraigned before the High Court on the 18th of January 2022 and mm -hmm. granted bail. A month after, he texts the Attorney General to thank him for the intervention he made in getting him bail, which is another conversation. Mm -hmm. And then he says, I would want an opportunity to meet you at your convenience. Mm -hmm. Then the AG says, I will meet you through your brother. Who is his brother? A Supreme Court judge. Right. So when the AG tells you that I never knew this man, it is a Supreme Court judge who invited me to his house, and I went there and this man just came there, he lied. This is how dishonest this man we called Godfrey Dame is. This is how dishonest. Now he talks about plea bargain. Look, the first, first of all, you must understand that there is nothing unlawful about plea bargain. Mm -hmm. Ghana has passed a law. Of Even before we pass that law, mm -hmm. the courts act and join lawyers to at all times endeavor to settle litigations mm -hmm. out right. of court. So to set proposal for settlement is normal. That is why they will always title it without prejudice. Right. Doesn't mean that I am guilty, but let's settle. Right. Okay? Now, the first proposal for plea bargain or settlement in this matter came from Big C, LLC. The company, the company that supplied, supplied the, ambulance, the ambulance, which company is not even being prosecuted. They are not a party to the case in court. And I'm sure that's the reason why the AG and, department... And, yeah, and, and the letter is dated 27th April 2023, right? Mm. Mr. Dame was arranging meetings with Jackpa 16th February 2022 in the, in the residence of a Supreme Court judge when no proposal for settlement had been made. So if he tells you that, oh, I was engaging him because of plea bargain, that's that is the word of a liar. So I mean, a big, no, no, yeah. let's stay on plea bargain for just for one minute. Oh, right. I, 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 that, I appreciate that. Just for of one time. minute. Yeah. Okay. Aside that, you see the, the, the evidence of the communication. 17 July 2022. Mm -hmm. There have not been any proposal or request for plea mm -hmm. bargain. 17 July 2022. Now, even when the proposal for plea bargain was made, three proposals, one from Big C, the second from Mr. Jackpa, the third one revised... Proposal from Mr. Jappa, all of them were rejected by the Attorney General. Right. Rejected. True. So the court said, because you have rejected it, you've not settled this matter, I am proceeding to adjudicate the matter. Mm -hmm. And that is why the matter is being heard in court. And that is why Jappa is testifying. Okay. So on the 9th of April, when he, he Dame called Jackpa for 26 minutes and he recorded him, Jackpa was going to court to testify. There was no plea bargaining because if there is plea bargaining, the court will give an adjournment. Absolutely. Now go and negotiate when you get a settlement and inform the court. This one, he was going, the man was going to court to testify. So like those corrupt people, they do in fixing matches. If somebody is coming to court to testify. The AG calls him. Mm -hmm. Now look, you are coming to testify. This letter of credit will come. No, you have to answer the question this way. It doesn't create any difficulty for you. The man said, no. That is wrong because of A, B, C, D. No, no, no. But if you go about it this way, it doesn't create any difficulty for you. If you accept the deal, the man I mean, is coming to testify. We have to go. We have to go. Uh, the and, and, and the words not, of it, Elton, yes. it's not about what the MPP says. <laughs> the words of it is that he tells the accused, go and lie to a court. Forge a medical excuse duty that you are sick when he knows him to be well. This man is a criminal. All right, so... And he'll be prosecuted one day. And tomorrow we'll have more time to deal with this matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Samir is going it's to be on Top Story on Joy 99.7 FM.